Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. Giving you the truth. I got a short video kind of along the lines of what I talked about earlier. Um, uh, I might ramble on this one, go all over the place, but I'm sure I have a title that explains what I'm talking about. Number one, we talked about parents and grandparents, how is they, uh, is what is for them and it's their uh, job to um, look out for their kids and their grandkids like whether it be trust fund whether it be you put money up set it aside to give to them at a later date whether it be you allowing them to live in a property that you own uh, at a reduced rate or whatever you choose to do for them you're supposed to do something for them Instead of just merely being one of those people talking about politics all the time and expecting politicians to do things that you're supposed to be doing in your uh, normal life. I had to check the time on the because uh, I need to delete some things off this phone. I'm getting low on storage. But people don't want to do that. Instead, they just want to criticize and, and act like each person is their own uh, responsibility, if you will. And I want you to know, again, that other races don't always take that same approach. And that's why a lot of times they do better in life. Like all these suburbanite uh, whites that you see, every dime they got didn't come from their own work. Their parents did things to help them along the way. So... Again, stop all this criticizing these 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 uh, young adults if you haven't helped them. If you've helped them, then they might listen to you more. Like, but I hear kids say, even oh man, you know, I got to take care of myself. You're only 15. How are you got to take care of yourself? You didn't ask to be born. But this is what you hear. Man, I got to take care of myself, man. You know, uh, I'm just going to keep riding till I'm done with this. I got to take care of myself. You're only 15. You're not even all, barely old enough to work. It's your parents' job to take care of you. And ladies, make sure if you got a good guy, don't be trying to punk him. Don't be running him off. Let him raise his kids. Because there's a lot of that going on, too. Women turn into Jezebel sometimes when they got a good dude. And then they just think he going to automatically stick around. Sometimes some of these guys leave to get away from them. It ain't that they don't want to be in their kid's life. They just don't want to deal with them. Women will say things like, Well, and I'm going to tell the police that you uh, murk, you murked a moo moo. I'm going to tell the police, you murk Moo Moo back in 1995. That's the type of stuff they do. What a guy going to do? He going to bounce. He going he gonna to be out of there so quick. And then she going to be lying. You know, your father didn't want nothing to do with you. Oh, let's stop that. You're making matters worse. It's time to rise. Stop that. Why he didn't want nothing to do with you all? Why don't you let the father tell the kid the truth? And if you a kid, don't just merely listen to what your mother say about your father. Try to find out some stuff on your own. Like I remember some years back, I, I wrote a kid's father an anonymous letter in jail. A little, I, I waited a little while, maybe like six months. I didn't even tell the kid I did it. Um, and I noticed that the father was already trying to re reestablish himself with the kid. The kid was all happy and stuff. His mama must have been lying to him. But I was, I kind of got, went in on his father, like, like, you know, your son, really? He carried a real picture around this, that, and the other. I did this. I could have been fired from my job. My job didn't even know I did it. Uh, but it worked. And I found out right then and there that 
Some of these guys, it's not even that they don't want to deal with their kids, man. That's just not true. They do. Sometimes they just don't be want to deal with old Miss Crazy Cray. But yeah. Let's get on the ball with stuff, man. Let's get on the ball. Let's let's if it's not positive. If it doesn't lead to wealth and freedom, then let's not even think in those ways. Now, if you choose, you keep your gangster in terms of protecting your house, that's different. But anything else, don't harm yourself. Don't seek no type of feeling that's not beneficial to your money or your kids. Stay positive. Do positive stuff. Compete. How are these some of these people the same age as you and they got 10 times what you have? You got to find out what you're doing wrong. I got to find out what I'm doing wrong. And then you got these little fake pro blacks who they don't. They'll, they want you to look up to them, but they don't tell you how to make your own life better. Fake pro blacks. Don't, don't even listen to them. If they're not telling you how to make your life better economically, every step of the way, spiritually, then don't even listen to them. Because this stuff ain't about race anyway. It doesn't matter if white people like you or not. It doesn't matter if police like you or not. What matters is, do you like you? That's what matters. Do you like you? Do you like Terrell Owens just say, do you love you some me? Speaking in terms of yourself. Thanks for watching. This is the truth, man. Uh last video today i will be back tomorrow or monday depending on my schedule i'd like to thank you two for this opportunity uh i ask that you give me the impressions and i hope that you guys watch the whole entire video i'm getting better at my thumbnail i know sometimes i have some horrific thumbnail which probably caused people to click through but I'm getting better at them. I'm, I'm learning how to do it a little more. And I do thank you for watching.